Hi, I'm Will from E3D, and in this video, we're going to show you how to upgrade your Prusa Mini with a Revo Micro. If you want more information on Revo Micro, you should head to our website, e3d-online.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all the latest upgrade guides, product launches, and more. Open your Revo box and take out your Revo Micro and extension cables. You don't need the fan or the step down board because the Prusa Mini already supplies five volts to the fan. So this isn't needed and you don't need this because we're using the mount which uses the old Prusa Mini fan. Make sure you've 3D printed the mount before starting the upgrade. We provided G-code for printing in PETG and ASA if you want to avoid slicing anything. Once you've printed the part, you'll need to remove the support material. Check that the part has been printed with the correct tolerances. To check that the M12 thread has successfully printed, try threading in the Rero Micro. Move the carriage to the center of the bed and raise it approximately 100 millimeters above your build plane. This will give you easy access to the hot end. Unload any filament that might be in the extruder, wait for the hot end to cool, and then turn off the machine. Remove the screw holding the part cooling fan in place and then carefully twist the fan upwards. Set all your fixings aside somewhere for safekeeping as you'll be needing them later. Loosen the upper fitting and remove the bowden tube from the hot end. You may have to use a wrench to get a better grip on the fitting. Remove the screw that holds the cable management arm in place. Remove the arm and set it aside. You'll be reusing it later. Remove the screw that connects the pinder arm to the heatsink. Turn the printer around and remove the screw that sits underneath the part cooling fan. Remove the screw above the fan, which holds the heatsink. The whole hot end assembly should now be loose, so handle it gently. With the hot end assembly loose, you can remove the final fan screw. Leave the fan where it is, as we will be reusing it in the next few steps. Start taking the heater and thermistor out of the cable sleeve. Cut the cable ties holding the sleeve to the x-axis. Place the Prusa hot end on the print bed for now. We will handle the wiring later. Thread the screws into the printed part and then back out, at least once for each hole on the part. Be careful not to overthread the fan mounting holes, as you may end up cracking the printed part. Thread the Revo Micro into the printed part. You should be able to create a sufficiently tight connection using just your fingers. Check that you can unscrew the nozzle without the heatsink moving. Position the mount on the x-axis, making sure that the heater core wires are fed through the slot in the pinder arm. You can physically turn the heater core to position them. Once you have it in place, secure the mount to the carriage, using the screws you took off earlier. Now you need to reattach the bowden tube. You can reuse the existing tube by cutting immediately above the brass olive. However, if you have some spare PTFE tube on hand, it's a good idea to use a fresh piece to avoid modifying the original. The new piece should be around 300mm long and a brass olive will need to be added to one end. When cutting PTFE tube, it is important to make sure the tip remains circular and not squashed. Using a printed guide like this one can be helpful. Remove the collet clip and feed the tube all the way into your Revo Micro. Replace the collet clip once the tube is in place. Now you just need to swap over the heater and thermistor wires. Plug the Revo Micro's plain white thermistor cable into the blue and white extension cable. Plug the second cable, white with thin red stripes, into the black extension cable. Remove the screw holding the mainboard housing together and remove the cover. Carefully remove the old wires from the sleeve all the way down to the board. Take the new extension cables and feed them into the wiring loom, like so. Once you've got the wires in place, you need to swap over the heater and thermistor. First, unplug the whole heater terminal. Unscrew the ferrules from the terminal using a small flathead screwdriver and replace them with the new heater. You can connect the cables anywhere around as the heater doesn't have polarity. Plug the terminal back in. Next, unplug the thermistor cable. Press the small tab on the side to release it. This can be challenging, so using tweezers to get a good grip on it can help. Plug in the Revo thermistor. The thermistor doesn't have polarity, so you can plug it in either way around. Before closing the housing, you should tidy up the loose cables using cable ties. Slot the cover back into place and secure it with a screw. Slide the cable management arm into position over the wiring loom and secure it. Move the tool head to the end of the x-axis. Check that there's no wiring obstructing it. Reattach the wiring loom to the gantry using some cable ties, making sure to leave sufficient slack in the x and z direction. Reposition the fan at the end of the tool head and secure it with the remaining screw. Plug in and turn on your Prusa Mini. Click on Calibration, then go to Self-Test and wait for the test to finish. When heating up your Revo Micro for the first time, you may notice small amounts of smoke coming from the nozzle. This is just residue burning off and is nothing to worry about. If the test is successful, head over to Calibration and click on First Layer Calibration. When prompted, select No and use the default value. Be aware, using your old offset could cause the nozzle to scrape the bed, which would leave a mark. You may need to adjust the physical height of the Pinder probe if you find that the nozzle is still too high when at minus two millimeters. If you struggle to get a consistent first layer, consider rerunning mesh bed leveling. That's it, your Prusa Mini is now upgraded to Revo. 
Did you find this video helpful? You can let us know by leaving us a comment or a like. You can tell us what upgrade you'd like to see too. Thanks for watching.